that for the nation of Ghana, God says he will bring up new leaders in the nation that will begin to move things in the greater level and begin to do great things. A year 15th December 2023, and as I'm come, say we, Mr. Editor. 15th December 2023, and I'm come to FM, so, and come, say we, say Eddie. Now, the 31st December, and Cassano, me, Jana, myself for them, a year 31st December 2023, and Cassano, and come, say, and see, pe pe pe. It's an answer, and I'm come, and say, or then I did the chairman, and I'm to me, and the chairman for. Sebe ya, senye yi nim senye akupon ese, se oji edi chira, na wetre muno, sa pepe pepe, senye nye akupon eji edi achire no, bonye wu muno, ye betumi esi ano kwa yi, na pape wu muno, susu ye jaye amano aba, enu ti mesre e kriso fwo yi na, mesre nkre mu fwo yi na, so mina ankame hon, e ma ye mwampa ye, enfama gana, abato ye babe tono ye, 2024, 7 December no emu, we aya sofu pon ke sebia o Nigeria na o kyerese odogana ye pa o pegana ye nso so pa asem na nya nyakopon ayi a kyere eno no eno no na o se ai nyakopon ayi niema hodo ahodo ene de a kyere no eno nti oni asori kuo ma akoma ko enan ekushiai ebo ho empire na empire boni mu no do hu ye ne se eniema ebesesa abato no eniema ebesesa Sani enyema asesano, saan enyema besesa. Na ewe mu sa chraye, ensu sukrabe eden ebesesa. Na uhuni se, nyanku pao edi babunu. Wa chra young people, ane ene ete ki di breno. Ane babunu, wana wenyini ya kura, ene bete ki posisye no. Ese o mbabe gana, ma mpenyini. Anase o mbabe gana, mpenifono medi gana so. No mbabu gana, ama gana eden, akwene nimu. Nye nyanko pon anase de dodo na kasa e kanon eno ene nyanko pon so so eji tumu iti de edom no e kanon ono ene nyanko pon aji no aye den atumu na wase si ya mon pa ye ne ya nshe ya ay ni pe kuobi a omu de omu fri gana ha nen so so omu fri amanone ay ebo bo ura ya manu ya batu eni mu ninyi na anese e si siye eni watimu wakami binti ene bemo mwabwe ure mu, na si ya nshoye, ni anye a nshoye ya, chese ento kwa kasi ye pa, na edi, ni pe kunkum o kunkum, eni enye ma seye, ene be breye yi. Intu wa sere gana fwo yi na, seye mwa mpa ye, ni nyanko po ndi o yia, na wa chomu, ni enzo sobe chomu wa, achire tu hun anamon, enu ti ya mwa mpa ye, ni emu mdi ya oka ni se, eye, babunu, ana young peoples, ene babi teki, posisye nuna, Omdi Ghana akwa kudru baby also omdi Ghana koko dru na Ghana aye kwa beshwe na Ghana afadhani tuma pa efra na Ghana aye enumunyam emai we ena sofu poni edituja mumi yangu ni yangu tiano as somebody that emanated from this nation and have my root here I've never stopped praying and interceding for Ghana it has always been in my heart to pray and intercede for Ghana. And uh, as you can tell and see, uh, the projects that we have done or we are still doing in Ghana is a proof that our heart is here. So for that reason, as we pray for the nation every year, the Lord reveals things to us. And I don't have time in this press conference to share everything that the Lord is revealing to us concerning the nation Ghana. Uh, some of the information that we receive, we make sure that we pass it through to the appropriate channels. Uh, some of it has direct consigned to the stakeholders. Some of it has direct consigned to leaders, clergymen, uh, different churches, different organizations. We make sure that we contact them and give them information. But this particular one I want to touch on today was a message that the Lord gave to us as a matter of fact, the very first time 
we received this message was 15th of December 2023. And that has to do with Ghana election. We were together and we were praying with a group of leaders. Uh, we have about four different churches here that I oversee that are directly under my leadership. And so I come down once a year and I do leadership retreats where we go out and fast and pray. And uh, so while we were praying, the Lord gave me a word for the nation Ghana. And I'm just going to read it just like it is publicized already because the word can be found on the internet. It's all over the YouTube. As a matter of fact, we repeated it on our yearly prophetic word for 31st of December, which most churches do. So, but the recent update towards that uh, is quite alarming because I believe the Lord wants us to pray as a nation for the coming election. We know that every election, there is a little bit of tension in the atmosphere, you know, and we know that in every election, there is a little bit of worry in the atmosphere because of the kind of political system that we have and the kind of democracy that we are practicing in the nation. But I believe that this year the Lord is really calling us to be particularly aware of some certain things. And let me read as I receive it. I hear that for the nation of Ghana, God says he will bring up new leaders in the nation that we begin to move things in the greater level and begin to do great things. So right now there, there is a training that is going on for upcoming leaders in all fears of life, including new apostles and new church leaders rising. And so, I hear the Lord says that we need to be aware that things are changing and the climate is changing, even in the nation of Ghana, more especially concerning our politics and our politicians and the way we conduct our elections. God says that he will personally see to it that the right people need that need to rise in the nation is going to be rising and taking their position in this nation in order for Ghana to move forward and to reach her destiny and destination there are going to be rising young people because it is time that the old leaders who are hindering the flow of things and the move of god and the will of god in the nation to be called to rest, to step aside, and to allow the chosen of the Lord to rise and take their place. So this revelation, I saw it in Ghana, but I also saw it in many other African nations, and take note, this has been released on 31st of December about the young people rising and taking their positions in Africa. As a matter of fact, uh, this is a footnote here. Uh, I come back to the prophecy. As a matter of fact, I was in Uganda in the month of November last year ministering and the Lord told me that a new Africa has begun. And I was privileged in August last year as well to be in Portugal 
ministering and I remember I was ministering to a very famous woman of God from America that lives in Mozambique, but she happens to be in the conference where I was in uh, Portugal uh, last year, August. Her name is Heidi Becker. And as I was ministering to her, I remember clearly saying loud in that meeting that the Lord said I should let Heidi Baker know that a new African has begun. And, and for the sake of record, Heidi Baker is a Caucasian, is a white American, but lives in Mozambique and doing a great work in Mozambique. They are built university, you know, transforming life. But it was just interesting how God worked. I am ministering to a white person in, <laughs> in Lisbon, in Portugal. And the Lord said, tell her that a new Africa has begun. So just for you to know that these prophecies are not something that just happened recently, but these are things that the Lord has been preparing us. So let me continue back to the prophecy. So I saw it in Ghana, but I also saw it in many other African nations that all the old leaders in the church or in the political realm or political arena that are hindering the young ones to arise they will be removed by the hand of God supernaturally for, so that the young leaders can rise in Africa and that they can take their place and their position. I hear new Africa has begun and the new bread of Africans are rising and are everywhere and they are taking every sector of the society leadership more especially in the kingdom of god with a overtaking anointing guided by the holy spirit and the lead of god for africa to move forward i Release also, as I mentioned already, have released this message on the 15th of December. Therefore, I hear the Lord says, let us pray for Ghana election this year because I see outside interference. I see, I, I, I repeat, I see outside interference in the election of Ghana this year that will not go well with the nation. Therefore, I also see a lot of hate, bitterness in the atmosphere during the election time, and that will result in fighting, killing, and destroying things. So let us pray that God will carry this nation during those election days. And therefore, I want to mention here that when God revealed things like this, it's not that he revealed it because he wanted it to happen. He revealed it because he won the church and also those that are consigned to do something about it so that it will not happen. This is the reason God will send his prophets ahead of time to go and inform people. We have been in the prophetic ministry for many years, so we are not bringing prophecies, hoping that it will happen so that people can applaud us and say your prophecy has come to pass. More especially when it's of the negative, it is not our wish that this will happen. And that's why God will expose the intention 
of the devil so that we can take every precaution and we can put every mechanism that is necessary in place and to make sure that it will not happen. So therefore, we are calling all our prayer warriors. We are calling all the churches. We are calling everyone that love the nation Ghana, all the partners of Ghana, all the friends of Ghana. We are calling them, let us pray. And not only prayer, but let us do what is needful to make sure that such prophecy does not come to pass. So that at the end of this election year, we, we say every good thing the Lord has spoken about the nation Ghana to move Ghana forward have come to pass and every bad thing have never come to pass in the name of Jesus. So I also encourage our politicians, head of government, to put the right measure in place so that there will be no grievances during this election and there will be no cause for alarm for people to begin to draw bitterness, disappointment, and therefore we are also are calling in any intending intervention that has to do with outsiders to take off their hand from Ghana election so that the Ghana election will be peaceful and fair and that the voice of the people will become the voice of God. That people will choose who God has called or who God has laid in their heart to choose and so that Ghana will arise and become what God has made her to be.